All right, so I'm gonna try to explain uh, Glink's West Escape strat. It does front clip, and it kind of has a bit of a setup to it, which is good because it makes things really consistent. Um, so when you exit the shop, you want to hold up. Uh, that will give you the right angle, and then you want to walk up to a certain texture on the ground. So you hold up, and now you basically want to inch your way forward until Link's heel, Link's right heel, is on the edge of this really light spot on the ground. Uh, it's this one right here, where my B button is on. So you want to put Link's right heel right above that. I should probably save my position there. So once you have this, you want to take your stick out, uh, and then you're going to side hop twice. And on the second side hop, there's one frame to jump slash. Um, you can do this with sword as well, I'll explain that in a bit. So this is the frame right here, the first frame he like goes away from the stepping stone. So you're just going to jump slash and hold the assess. Now once you get the west, uh, you want to keep holding target so that you keep this angle. And now if you just go straight back, uh, you'll hit the wall. Um, the cool thing about this strat is uh, the wall blocks you so you can take your time getting the angle. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to release Z so that Link does like three ESS turns. You're already holding ESS so he's going to, once you release Z he's going to turn. So you want to do the equivalent of three ESS turns. So like, you could do the turns right now and not even touch the wall, and that's really fast. Uh, but if you want, you can let yourself hit the wall and then give yourself time. So I'm gonna hit the wall, one, two, and that was three actually. The way that I know that that was the right angle is I'm barely coming past the wall. Like I'm just gonna slip right by it. And if I just let Link go, I'll go right, like head on to Pokey. Like that. That's perfect. That's what you want. Alright, so another important note about this is that uh, you want the stick to be in your hand. For some reason, having an item in hand makes this consistent. If you're not holding stick or sword in your hand, uh, it just won't work. So you want to take stick out at any time. Sword is a little more complicated, I'll explain that in a minute. But you're just going to take stick out at any time before you talk. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the three ESS turns, so you come right at Pokey. And then all you're gonna do when you get when you approach Pokey is you're going to go neutral, and then you're gonna press A a frame later to talk to him. Uh, I would recommend timing this. Um, mashing didn't work for me, but I mean, you can mess with that if you like. But anyway, you're gonna take out your stick. You can hit the wall if you want. I'm gonna do that's two turns. That's one. Neutral talk. So this is actually possible with Kokiri Sword. It's just a little more complicated. It's not really hard, um, it's just a little more complicated. The complicated part is having the item in your hand. So if you slash your sword during a West, the West cancels. Uh, so the way that we are going to get the sword in hand without swinging it is as you enter the water, you're going to press B to do a quick draw with the water. You have four frames to press B, so it's really lenient. And also with sword, uh, sheathed. The jump slash timing is a bit earlier. Alright, now all I'm gonna do is before I hit the water, I'm just gonna tap B. You have four frames. And then now when I press B, it goes in his hand without swinging, and I continue the Wes. Now I can continue this, and then clip. 